Hi everyone, I have an updated healers for you now that season 4 is out. Last night we had a max raw meeting discussing with all of our build guide writers basically what we feel about the meta, how things have been developing, what we you know thought was right and wrong and here are the updated results. So this is what we came up with and it turns out there are quite some shifts. A few things we have already tweaked uh, in the past, uh, in the last few days before that but now we have kind of the final tier list i guess for season four until the mid-season patch i guess outside of any weird discoveries that might still occur one of those examples is the bash bob in particular that recently got his new bleed tech with gushing wounds scaling for their um, like actual like dot damage instead of like hit damage so that's kind of a new development here we put bash barb up on top as the number one build overall technically thorns bob has pushed a little bit higher than that but it's also based on holy bolt shenanigans and it's just not an overall as good build, I guess. But they're basically number one and number two, I would say. So we all thought that Necromancer would be the absolute uncontested kings of season four. It turns out they are not really that. Minion Necro is still really OP, but there are other really good builds out there. And Minion Necros, especially in the pit on the higher levels, they do start to struggle, especially defensively, it seems. So this is kind of like one of their main downsides. And then you have the problems with the minion AI and so on. In fact, for example, we had minion necro up here as an S tier build, and we actually moved it down to A. This is the um, golem based minion necro. There's still the shadow minions up here that we have as one of the top builds. And we, surprisingly, we moved up some of the rogue stuff here. So Heartseeker has been creeping up quite a bit, Rapid Fire Rogue as well, and we also have Penshot up here. We were actually discussing if you also put it in S after all. At least from the pit performance, it does look really good. But there are quite few examples of it right now. So for now, we keep it at top of A, for example. But yeah, Rogue has been kind of a surprising winner here throughout the season with just how far they can push in the pit, how easily they can farm the high pit levels. Heartseeker Rogue, for example, is crushing like 90s or 100s in you know speed farm territory, basically. And uh, so is Rapid Fire, really. Rapid Fire has just so much damage output with the new ring. Turns out that how they have changed the behavior of the um, rapid fire it was actually really beneficial and the damage is just really high being a precision combo point build here so quite some interesting stuff we also moved a lot of stuff down here so for example um, bone spirit also went down it does have really good damage output it can do like 400 million crits or so every second or two so that's still really good but overall you know slightly clunky slightly slower than some of the other builds for example and we have, uh, for example, also like Lightning Storm Druid going down. Druid in general just not really being as powerful as we anticipated because of how the pit has scaled up the monster HP. It makes it kind of hard for Druids to survive those boss fights and also take down the bosses. Originally, for example, we had Tornado and S tier because on a PTR they were just absolutely wrecking everything, running at perma movement speed cap, throwing tornadoes that would go off and just destroy everything. But now that monsters are just so much more tanky, the meta is somewhat disfavorable for something like Tornado Druid. And especially on the boss fights, you do struggle with some of those Druid builds. Not because necessarily just the damage, but also because Druids don't really have great survivability tools against those pit bosses. So this is kind of where, where they're at. They do have fine builds here. Windshear is performing pretty well. Tornado is still up here. Hurricane is up here. So there's a bunch of stuff here for all classes. But yeah, Druids and also the Sorks, they just seem to be both kind of on the weaker end when it comes to the high-end pit pushing. So this is kind of where we're at here. But yeah, kind of surprising developments here, gotta say. We'll see if something else comes up, so there might still be some surprises waiting for us. There was a big patch with all of the temper mods and all of the new items and all of the overall game changes that have occurred. So maybe there's still some stuff coming. But in the grand scheme of things, I believe that we have kind of a really solid list now that reflects what the current game is like uh, some of these things here more on the bottom might be a bit in flux still where you know not everyone has really fully tested like every c tier build or something <laughs> so in that case you know there might be you know some question marks but at least here for the top end i guess this is looking pretty much uh, everything where it should be one thing that i should mention here is the boulder druid right now we have this down and f tier that is actually a pretty solid build as well however right now it's dysfunctional the season four patch kind of turned off the build entirely, but that is getting fixed on Tuesday. So at that point, we're probably gonna move it up. I'm not sure exactly, probably somewhere here in the B range or something like that. 
it is still a fine build, at least once it's fixed. So this is kind of what it's looking like. Of course, um, we have our uh, events here, the um, pit ladder. So if you want to check any of those top and clears, right now we have the pit ladder open. It goes until basically another week uh, where people can submit their runs. This is based on um, uh, ha hand-picked, uh, hand-moderated uh, clears, basically. So you have to submit your run with a video link. If you want to be listed on leaderboard, then feel free to do that. In particular for builds that are not the top end builds. So it would be kind of interesting to see some off meta stuff as well. There are a few things here, but it's mostly <laughs> Heartseeker, Bash, Thorns, Mages, and that's kind of what we see here most of the time. But for some other classes, for some other builds, it would be really nice to see some more data. And if you want to be on a leaderboard, have your clear up there, you can also win some prizes. Now, one thing I should note here about this tier list is that we have been relatively strict in uh, moving down builds from the higher tiers. So for example, we have a lot of pretty good builds actually down here in C tier, for example, like Death Trap Rogue, Grenade Rogue, Twisting Blade Soaks. These are actually not bad builds per se. They're just kind of noticeably weaker than some of the other, especially ranged rogues in that case, for example. And similar with like some of the other Sork builds or Druid builds or so, mostly because they just don't go that high in the pit. But it doesn't mean that these builds are bad in the sense that you can't play them. You can absolutely, you know, blast through the game with them. You can take down the tremendous bosses with basically all of them. You can do pretty much anything just fine. I will actually play Twisting Blades Rogue myself. I will actually play Death Trap Rogue myself. And I'm actually very excited for that as well. And there are some other builds down here that I'm also planning to play. But the difference is definitely noticeable. And so we try to spread out the tier list as much as possible to make this obvious. We've also gone and updated some of the other tier lists here. So in particular, the uh, speed farming and bossing tier lists, but there was not really that much movement here, but I can go over that real quick. Speed farming is mostly just based on like health heights and these kind of things and like easy nightmare dungeons, for example. So we have a lot of really good builds for that purpose because no one really struggles with that anyway. But some classes are just a bit faster than others. Some builds are a bit better than others for that. So you can see this here, like we have a lot of Sorg up there, for example. While Sorg is not that great in a pit, mostly because of the boss fights, uh, they are actually really good at this, for example. They just go fast, everything dies, so that's kind of like where they are. But every class has some builds here that are really suited for this purpose. So I just want to mention this. And similar with the bossing here, we actually have um, the minion necros and then the rogues here being some of the best bossers in the game. So these are actually like very similar builds here, one shot rogue and rapid fire rogue. They're both based on rapid fire and then one shot rogue has like this setup with banish loss, talisman and the beast fall boots. And rapid fire rogue just kind of has really good damage output. You can take out these bosses really quickly and potentially even sub 30 seconds or so solo when you have a pretty good setup here. But there's a bunch of other good builds. If you farm tormented durials all day long for your uber uniques or something, then this is uh, some of the builds you might want to look at. So that's kind of what we got right now. So this is probably for how the tiers will stay until at least a mid-season patch. Then we'll see what happens. There are some question marks left here that will maybe be addressed in the future. One is in particular the victimized rogues. Victimized right now has some double dipping going on. So it's a bit stronger than intended. A lot of people always ask me like how much will that hurt the rogues when that gets fixed. We don't know when it will get fixed. But if that gets fixed, that will probably mean an overall damage loss of around a third and in like the best case scenario like staggered boss nukes something like up to two thirds so hard seeker rogues and also the pen shot rogues is also based on victimize they will be just fine but they will probably drop down like a tier so maybe hard seeker will go back to a we just moved it up to s but it will be in some a tier build or so pen shot might even stay up there maybe it goes down to b but that's kind of where that will be at once that is fixed but for now nothing is announced we will see and similar with the bash barbs, there was a lot of commotion about the recent patch notes for patch 1.4.1 uh, coming on Tuesday, where there was this weird patch notes about bash, but it turns out that it's actually not going to change anything. So there's apparently some tooltip fix or so that they're doing, and the build stays the same. So nothing to worry about there. Barb at the top, as always. So this is kind of where we are yet again. Other than that, there might also be some bug fixes that affect some builds positively, in particular for the Sorks. They have also a bunch of bugged multipliers, kind of the opposite of the Rogues. Uh, there is, for example, the Frigid Fate Legendary Paragon node and uh, the Shredding Blades aspect and a few other aspects like that that kind of just don't provide the full benefit, like half of what they say or so. And uh, if those things get fixed, then actually Sorks is going to be in a relatively good spot. So this is part of the reason why Sorks are somewhat weak, because they have these bugged multipliers that give them too little damage, and they're probably lacking something like 
a third or so of the damage. So that might actually be some kind of glimmer of hope here for the Sorks for the midseason patch as well. Maybe you're going to see some update there and maybe some fixes. And of course, last but not least, the Holy Bolts Elixir is also kind of a question mark. What will happen to that? In fact, we've banned it from the leaderboard event here. So Holy Bolts is not allowed because it is uh, just buggy, especially with minions. So it's just kind of double scales and just one shots everything when a minion kills something and then procs Holy Bolts. And there's some other shenanigans going on that is kind of weird with it. So we decided for the leaderboard to see the full power of builds. We know Holy Bolts allowed. And we don't know if Blizzard is going to address that as well at some point. It won't really change much for the tier list because the tier list is actually not based on Holy Bolts Elixir. So this is mostly based on the raw power of a build here. But this is what we got. And also worth keeping in mind. In any case, I'm quite excited to see how this will develop. I really like Season 4 personally. The meta is really diverse. Lots of really cool new builds. Lots of nice stuff to do. I am... <laughs> Still planning to play like another 10 or 20 builds or something like that. There's so much stuff. So I'm quite looking forward to that. Hope you enjoyed this tier list update here. Hope you're having a lot of fun in season four. Stay tuned for more and see you guys next time.